Now, in this video, we will go to take up one more problem on projections of lines. How to solve the problem number 66 by using the AutoCAD software. The problem reads as the top view capital PQ of a straight line is 70 mm and makes an angle of 60 degree with XY line. The NQ is 10 mm above HP and uh, 30 mm in front of VP. The difference between the distances of capital P and Q above HP is 45 mm. Draw the projections, determine its true length and true inclinations with HP and VP. So to do that, first we'll go for the AutoCAD screen, and switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode. Now we go for command limits. So you take 0, 0, upper right corner, 297, 210. Then go to zoom or then go to line command, draw a horizontal line of any distance and draw a vertical line of any distance by clicking from the first button of the mouse and then go to offset take the distance as 297 you select this vertical line and offset to the left side and then go to offset take the distance as 210 select this horizontal line and offset to the top side then go to zone extends zoom 0.6x then go to fillet between these two lines and similarly fillet between these two lines and fill it between these two lines then go to layer go to layer click on new layer type the layer by name x5 enter click on new type the layer by name locus enter click on new type the layer by name true length enter click on new type the layer by name front view if we enter click on the layer and type the new layer as top view tv and enter so layer 0 will always contain projector lines having line thickness 0 0.05 and XY line line weight will going to be also be 0 0.0 sorry 0 0.13 and say OK. The locus line will going to have line weight 0 0.05 and the true length will going to have 0.3 and then the front view will going to have 0.5 and also the top view will going to have 0.5. Once you do that then we have the top view will going to have major red color then the front view will going to have a magenta okay then the true length will going to have index color 30 okay then the line type of locus will going to have a dash dot line you just click on the line type make it dash dot and say okay and click on dash dot and say okay so this is how we will be able to change uh, all the line weights, color and line type. Once you do that, you just close the layer dialog box. Once you do that, now we'll go for solving the problem. First, we're going to draw the XY line and then take 10 mm above XY line and 30 mm below XY line. So first, we'll go to draw a horizontal line of any distance by clicking from first button of the mouse. From the left side, drag the mouse towards the right side, take some distance and click on again, first button of the mouse. Then go to offset, take the distance as 10 you select this horizontal line and offset to the top sorry offset then select this and offset to the top side then go to offset take the distance as 30 mm in the bottom side so select, give the distance as 30 and select this horizontal line and offset to the bottom side then go to line take nearest point on this and drop perpendicular to this once you do that then go to fillet between these two and also fillet between these two then we have the difference between the distances of capital P and Q is 45 mm. So you just go to offset, take the distance as 45 from here. Then uh, go to line of 70 mm, including 60 degrees. Then go to line, take INT of this at the rate 70 mm less than minus 60 because clockwise direction is negative. So here 60 mm then go to line take so from here you take perpendicular to this and then draw intersection of this now we have the front view so from here you draw this and then again you take this line so you're going to get this point so once you get this so we have the locus in the front view and as well as in the top view now you go to take this and then go to extend select this and extend this to the top boundary now we need to take P1, so which is P1, so this is the one, so you take this and project it and then you get this line. So go to circle, take INT of this and uh, take intersection point of this. So once you get this, 
then go to trim between this line and this between these two you need to enter the art and the rest of the things is removed then go to fillet between these two then here now uh, you go to line take int of this and take perpendicular to this and you just get the true length line here so now we got the projection then you draw perpendicular and then from here you join this once you do that now we want to do for the other one so to do that then just go to circle take int of this and take intersection point of this now once you do that then go to trim between these two trim this portion and also this portion then go to erase erase this line and then go to fillet between these two and then go to line take int of this and take perpendicular to this and take intersection point of this then go to break so here you go to break break this line till here and then you break this line till here then you break this line till here and you break this line till here then similarly you break this line till here so you break this line till here once you do that then take near to your screen and you click on this and uh, of course you just click on this and click on this go to layer make this layer as locus layer and change the line type to 10 once you do that so you have this then go to break and of course you can reduce this length so you take this length go to layer make that as top view and again you take this two and you make this layer as true length so tl then escape then you click on this go to layer make that layer as front view once you do that you switch on the line by display you are going to get this then go to layer make that layer as xy so we have everything has been done now we need to go for the dimensioning so go to ddim so what i need to do here the accuracy precision is up to second decimal point so first uh, uh, we go to modify so go to primary units so decimal angular dimension you make it up to second decimal and this as uh, precision as zero then go to text uh, take the text height as three and align with the dimension line vertical placement is above and then offset from the dimension line as two and then go to symbols and arrows take the arrow size as three and go to lines take the offset from the origin as two and say okay and then say close now we go for uh, directions of projections so one should do that so here go to leader take a nearest point on this draw tangentially to this arc annotation option similarly leader go to nearest on this take tangentially to this annotation option now you switch on the ortho mode then go to leader nearest point to so draw this like the annotation option then go to leader take nearest select this and annotation option then go to leader so take this sorry go to leader take nearest on this so you select this annotation option now we need to go to explode this line so this so this and this then go to erase erase this these two this this and this one should do that now we'll go for dimensions so dim take int of this and take intersection of this so we get seven ten then again int of this take int of this so we get 30 then we have a int of this int of this and take endpoint of this so here you want to have 45 then we get this now we go to zoom previous uh, you take zoom previous then uh, go to move entire thing you move it uh, to the top side 
so here go to line take int of this you draw a horizontal line and then go to extend you extend this because i want to have a locus here so you just go to break break this line till here and you break this line till here and click on this go to layer you make that layer as locus layer and uh, you give the line weight as 10 now one should do that then go to zoom window then you want to write the dimension of this line so to do that so dim then go to intersection point of this you switch off this take int of this so once you do that so you're going to get it as 70 then go to angular between these two you take uh, 60 degrees okay then uh, again angular so i need to find out phi value 46.76 so you click on this and you click on this 46.76 go to text give space and you take it inside then we need to go for theta which is 32.74 so to do that go to angular select between these two 32.74 go to text give space enter so you're going to get this so then go to zoom previous now you go to zoom previous and go to list so here what will going to be the true length 83.22 true length should be 83.22 correct so above so now whatever have you have done the drawing is also right so go to break this and then go to dim uh you take intersection part of this and uh, take int of this so we need to find out this uh, distance go to text uh, so here you type true length equals question mark and you place it wherever you want now once you do that now we need to go for the day text so to do that first uh, we'll go for ddim and you go to modify and you make the angular primary units you make it precision as zero and say okay and say close so automatically it will go to change here so now we go for d text here q dash and p dash so here you just uh, go to d text uh, so select this line and take the height as three and rotation angle as zero x you mark this as y you mark this as vp and you mark this as hp and this as capital q and this sorry capital q and this as capital p and this as locus of p and here this also as locus of p and this as capital q and this as capital p one should do that now we want to go for q dash p dash so to do that so you come down to this q dash and you mark this as p dash and here you mark this as small q and this as p now you need to change it to p1 and p1 dash so you mark this as p1 and this as p1 dash then similarly here you mark it as p2 dash and here you mark it as p2 i want you to do that so everything is completed and then go to m text here you mark uh, give it as go to aerial go to symbol and uh, you type it as small letter q theta so you go to move this and you place it wherever you want and then go to copy copy this here and you mark this as 5 dd edit and you mark this as and once you do that now you go to move go to move type x and you have vp and you have hp and you have y and you take q dash here it is capital q so here it is p dash and this is p1 dash so here you have p and this is locus of p and here it is p2 dash and here you move this q similarly you have capital q and you have p1 and you have p2 
and here you have locus of P and you move capital P here and here you move capital move P small p so one should do that now we need to write the text so to write the text go to the text so here you type answers then go to the text huh? so you type uh, 32.74 degree so select this and you type uh, 32.74 percentage percentage d so once you do that then go to line you draw a horizontal line of any distance and uh, from here take line take end point so go to line take end point of this go to line take nearest and then draw this then go to offset take the distance as six and from here go to trim now we need to have the true length here and go to zoom window and go to move switch off the ortho mode and then uh, you just come down to this then go to copy take this copy here and then uh, you copy this okay. so what is 5 46.76 so then go to copy copy this 46.76 go to read really edit 46.76 then uh, you would go to true, uh, true length so come down to this and here you type uh, detached uh, take 3 and type true length so what is the true length the true length has to be 83.22 so go to detached and here you type uh, 83.22 yeah, mm so once you do that then go to zoom so you just uh, move this move you just move this line till here and then go to extend extend this and extend all the three so this is how you will be able to create this drawing then go to move and uh, you switch off this and you place it wherever you want then go to zoom previous then we need to change this vp all the p dash you have to consider go to layer make that layer as front view and similarly click on this select all these top views and you make that as layer as top view then you click on this cube and these two piece and you make that color as blue so this is how you will be able to create the drawing by using AutoCAD software thank you